Oh, hi, didn't see you there. Janice, looks like I've got a surprise meeting. Hold all my calls, please. Uh, sure, but my name is Jess. Thanks, Sandy. Since you're here, I might as well show you the tutorial I've been working on. Let's take a look. Today we're learning NVMS version 2 playback and backup. To be successful with this tutorial, your recorder must be set up for NVMS v2 already. A link to that guide can be found in the description. The first thing we're going to need to do, as usual, is open up the program. Once the program has finished loading, it's going to land us on the home page. Take a look at the record playback category. You'll see the options record playback and backup are on separate pages, so we'll have to go to each one individually. Let's start with playback. From the playback page, you'll see a four square grid of windows. These are the footage windows. Selecting a different square will highlight that one blue. We'll select the first one as this is where we want our footage to appear. In order to narrow down your search, you can click more here and you'll see a list of different types of video footage you can select or narrow down to, as well as you're given the ability to put in a start time and end time and a start date and end date. Your limit for the search window is 24 hours, though you can search as far back as you have footage. Once you've filled out your parameters, select a camera, and once you've selected a camera, click search. The window one seek bar then populates with some information. We selected a very small period of search time, so it's hard to see some of that data. In order to get a better view, you can zoom in on the seek bar, and this will allow you to see an expanded version of what available data you did search. You can click the play button and that will start playback at the beginning of that file. You can also press in the same spot to pause the footage. And if you choose to clear the search results, you would press the stop button here. That's pretty much it for playback. Why don't we go ahead and move on and we can show you how to get and back up your footage. The first thing you'll need to do is click home to get back to the main home page. From here, we'll go to the backup page. Once you land on the backup page, you'll notice four options at the tabs at the top, but leave the page on backup as this is the simplest and easiest way to get footage downloaded. Next, select a camera. Then select a calendar date to start from. Click search at the bottom to populate the seat bar with available footage from that day. Then we're going to want to check off mainstream to make sure we get the best quality footage for our download. And we're going to want to hit backup path over here. This will allow us to choose where on our computer the files download to. From there, when we're done, we're going to click Record Management at the top to go back to the previous page. We can then fill in a start time. We can also fill in an end time, and this narrows down our footage even further. Once these fields are completely filled out, you can click the backup button that you see there on the right, and this will populate the field below with information on the download. You can see the start time and end time you selected, the duration, as well as the download progress itself. Once it's finished, we will play the file back. Once you have the file downloaded, you should be able to drag it into your preferred media player and watch the file playback just fine. Check out the smooth, quality footage that we recorded here. Thanks again, guys, for joining us today on how to learn playback and backup for Seabell NVMS 2. Until next time, have a great one and stay safe.